Hello, it's Sid Cordler, the leader of the Christian People's Alliance, talking about this week's budget, which uh, is going to be announced. The government, in our view, is in a total state of confusion as to what to do with the economy. They've gone about the process of seeking to drastically cut the budget deficit, having inherited a very difficult situation from the previous government. However, they've got a situation now where growth is completely stalled, and a lot of experts are saying we're going to move into a triple dip recession. Another period of time when we're going to have negative growth. The government apparently seemed to have no idea what to do. But we've got our ideas, so here they are. Number one, the government must not take money from the poorest in our society. Seeking to cut benefits is absolutely the wrong way of going about things. And what they did in the last budget has to be reversed. Second, we've got major social issues in our country which have to be addressed. Most importantly, the breakdown of marriage and the family. What we're proposing is some drastic action in order to cope with that. First, we want to see substantial grants given to people on the occasion of their first marriage, to encourage marriage. Second, we want to see grants given on the birth of a first child if the birth is within wedlock. Third, we want transferable tax allowances so mothers staying at home and looking after their children are able to transfer their tax allowance to the father who is working, or vice versa. If the father is staying at home looking after the children, there will be tax allowances transferred to the mother who is working. These, we believe, will change the whole culture in our society and mean that it will be foolish for people not to get married and to take advantage of the grants available and not to have children within wedlock. The reason for this is simply that statistics show that at the moment the cost of breakdown of, of relationships is some 44 billion to our country. More than two-thirds of all youth offenders are from broken homes. Children need a mother and a father but the reality is today that at 16 years of age children have only a 50% chance of having been with a mother and a father all their life. The government said in their manifesto we understand the problem, we will take action to address it, but they have done nothing and they said they're going to continue to do nothing. That's why we're coming with our detailed proposals and saying there is an alternative. There is an alternative which has to be acted on now. So we're saying to you, support the Christian People's Alliance and the stand that we're taking. Instead of taking the very necessary action to uphold marriage in the family. This government instead is resorting to introducing gay marriage and redefining the meaning of marriage, changing the way marriage is taught in schools, meaning saying that children don't need both a mother and a father. This, we believe, is the wrong course of action. We will be demonstrating along with the French and the Italians in Paris and Rome this weekend to say very clearly we are against this redefinition of marriage. But we believe it's only when people vote for the Christian People's Alliance in the ballot box that things will really change. It's only when the government are hurt where they really feel it hurt. We had a million people marching through London against the war in Iraq. It made no difference. We had half a million people marching through London over fox hunting. It made no difference. They still banned it. The government does not listen to demonstrations, but they do listen when people vote in the ballot box against them. That's why they've suddenly announced there's going to be a referendum over Europe, because UKIP have been getting a lot of votes. It's why they've been taking a lot of action over green issues, because the Green Party in the past has got a lot of votes. The Christians now need to get a lot of votes to show the government that they need to change action. And it's over to you. We have the proposals. We have the ideas. We have the people support us. Thank you.